A look inside tech giant Apple's $5 billion headquarters reveals one of the most technologically and architecturally advanced campuses on Earth. The campus is a marvel to the public and even elites in the world of architecture. Located in Cupertino, California, this stunning architecture sprawls across 176 acres and might just be one of the most stunning campuses in the world. So let's take a look inside. Although this piece of architecture looks like it was taken from the future, it has been in the making for a long time, with Apple's founder Steve Jobs initially announcing the project back in 2006, it took eight long years of planning, proposals and permit applications, but in 2014 the project was already in motion. And by 2017, the campus opened and Apple's vast workforce was already starting to move in. The main complex of the campus is a 2.8 million square foot ring shaped building. This massive building is now an iconic symbol of the Apple brand and it shows how dedicated the company is to effortless design, sustainability and the future of technology. It was initially estimated that the campus would cost just half a billion dollars to construct. However, the land alone bagged around $160 million and the cost began to increase even before construction could advance. By 2011, the budget for construction had risen to a little under $3 billion. When everything had been completed and the campus was ready, Apple was looking at a bill of around $5 billion, a whopping $4.5 billion on top of the original estimate. $5 billion is a huge amount of money for any company to justify, any company apart from Apple, a company that is currently worth around $3 trillion and made an estimated $80.3 billion in the third quarter of this year alone. That is why it is not surprising that Apple built such an amazing environment for its workers. Multiple buildings dot the landscape of Apple's headquarters, however, 80% of the land is still considered to be green space. Apple and the designers made it a priority to make the campus fit seamlessly into nature. They planted over 90,000 drought-resistant trees throughout the land, including cherry, apricot, olive, and a few variations of apples to help encourage their workers to maintain a healthy lifestyle. The landscape features 3.2 kilometers worth of walking and running trails, as well as 1,000 bikes that can be used to move between buildings on the campus. Other lifestyle facilities housed by the campus include a wellness center, a gym, and a couple of basketball courts. There is also a huge two-story yoga studio where the employees can wind down and ease their back pain. The campus was designed to take care of Apple staff and also the environment. All the buildings around the campus are incredibly eco-friendly. The main ring of the building is home to one of the world's largest rooftop solar farms. The solar-covered roof generates up to 17 megawatts of power, which alone provides 75% of the campus's energy requirement. The rest of the campus's power demand is met by in-house fuel cells powered by biofuel or natural gas. This means that the entire campus is powered by 100% renewable energy. The main building also makes use of a natural ventilation system, meaning that it does not use traditional heating and cooling methods for nine months of the year furthering the campus's green credentials. Also known as the spaceship or the ring, the main circular building is quite an architectural wonder. Standing four stories high, it has over 1.2 million square feet of office space and enough room to accommodate up to 12,000 members of staff. To bring the outside world in, the design has incorporated a significant amount of glass into the building. The masterpiece also features the largest curved glass panes in the world. On the building's exterior are 800 of the 45-foot-tall curved glass panels and around 3,000 smaller panels to be found within the low-energy LEDs. The sheer amount of glass around the building allows natural sunlight to fill the area and makes the ring a stunning bright place to be in. It would make sense that Apple had it in mind to keep their staff members energized throughout their long working days despite maintaining a normal office environment. One of the most jaw-dropping features to the main ring happens to be found underground. The main ring is one of the few buildings on the planet to make use of base isolation, which protects the building from even the worst earthquakes that could happen. Made up of 692 huge stainless steel plates, the isolation system allows the building to shift up to 4 feet in any given direction without causing any structural damage to the building itself. Also hidden beneath the ground is an extensive parking area and road network that is completely out of sight. 
Apple chose to put all of these amenities underground to maximise the green space around Apple Park. Other notable features to be found around the campus include seven cafes, with the largest one spanning across three levels and enough seating capacity for 3,000 people. The huge catering team boasts of having enough capacity to feed around 15,000 people every lunchtime. There is more room for growth if Apple decides to expand its already large workforce. The campus, also known as Apple Park, features the inspiring Apple Auditorium. This spectacular circular glass building mirrors the main ring in its form and is topped with the world's largest carbon fiber roof. The theater includes a 42-foot tall glass elevator that takes guests underground to the 1,000-seater auditorium. Made from chemically tempered glass, the elevator is considered to be the tallest freestanding glass elevator on the planet. Other buildings around the Apple Park include two 300,000 square foot research and development facilities, a 100,000 square foot fitness center, a care clinic, and the visitor center, which is the only building in the entire campus that guests can visit without a pass. Located atop a hill on the campus, this facility, officially known as the Steve Jobs Theater, was named after the co-founder and former CEO of Apple. It is an underground 1,000-seat auditorium intended for press meets and Apple product launches. Above ground, it has a large cylinder-shaped lobby with stairs down to the auditorium. The theater has 350 parking spaces and a pedestrian path leading to the main park area located northwest of the theater. The auditorium's lobby has cylindrical shaped glass walls and no support columns with a clear 360 degree view of the surrounding campus. The 73 metric ton roof of the theater is made of 44 identical panels. Each panel is 70 foot long and 11 foot wide and locks in the middle with other panels. The theater houses the largest carbon fiber roof and is the largest glass supported structure in the world. The Apple Park Visitor Center is housed under one roof, but is divided into four very special sections. The first of which is a 10,000 square foot Apple store, which is filled with the latest Apple products. It also includes a 2,000 square foot cafe, an observation deck from where you can look over the campus and a designated AR experience area. The area also includes a scale model of the entire Apple Park, offering visitors a special look at life on the campus. The entire landscape of the Apple Park is full of amazing features and amenities that supersede that of any other work environment in the world. From the environmental footprint to the health and well-being of its staff, Apple has left no stone unturned. Although there have been a few complaints about the open office plan spaces, with some employees saying that they are distracting and counterproductive, however the futuristic facility has been incredibly well received and has now set a new world standard in how amazing a working environment can truly be. So, that's everything. How cool do you think the Apple Park is? Do you think there's another facility just as good as Apple Park? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to get more updates like this one. And as always, thank you very much for watching.